What is going on everybody? Today we are going to dive into my EDC gear, better known in the gun industry as my everyday carry loadout. Guys, this is way more than just a firearm, although a firearm is an integral part of it. Let's dive into it. honest with you I was struggling to come up with the topic that I wanted to discuss for today's freestyle Friday video and then I remembered hey it's my channel I can do what I want right so I'm gonna actually do a video that I think is gonna help you get to know me better by showing you my EDC loadout obviously one of the first things that people think of when they think of everyday carry items is a firearm and that is a main part of my everyday carry gear but that's only a small piece of it. And I really think that this is a good video to put out there because it's gonna help show you a little bit more about who I am. In most people's minds, especially if you have been around the gun industry for any amount of time, when you think of the word EDC, you immediately think of a sidearm. And that's accurate because that's part of my EDC and it's part of what a lot of you guys integrate into your everyday carry. But that's just a small piece of the puzzle, in my opinion. And I really think that this is a good video to put out there because it's going to help you guys know a little bit more about who I am. And I think that all of our EDC loadouts tell us a lot about who we are as people. The gear and the items that we carry reflect our personalities. And so I'm hoping to have you guys learn a little bit more about me as I go through this, but then also maybe take away a couple ideas that you can integrate into your EDC. So first what I'm gonna do is talk about some things that are not firearm related. Some of the more important gear that I think gets overlooked or maybe not talked about as much and I'm gonna be straightforward with you guys. I don't really carry anything that's that crazy. So without further ado, let's get started. So obviously, I have to have some keys with me. And if you guys check that out, it is just a paracord lanyard and a bunch of little keys for my office, my vehicles, my house, all of that good stuff. Nothing super exciting there. I do have spare keys in my office as well in case I would lose some of my most important keys. And then we have my cell phone, which is just a simple iPhone 6S, nothing fancy there. Um, it's just a company phone we got, so it really honestly isn't anything that spectacular. But when we do renew the plan, I am going to get one that has more than 32 gigs of data because, or storage I mean, because I run through the storage on this thing like it's nobody's business. And then for my wallet, I know a lot of you guys that are into the everyday carry world and into the gun industry, you guys have fancy wallets. I have this really old leather wallet and I don't even know what brand that is, but it's way too thick, way too big. So as far as things I wanna upgrade right off the bat, my wallet is one of them. My buddies over at Wiseman Company make a pretty legit wallet. I'm gonna to have to go bug them about one of them as well because low profile is my profile. So guys, besides that, my wallet, my keys, my cell phone, I carry with me a couple other items. One, and one that I think is the most important is one of my notebooks. And I'm gonna probably butcher the name on this, but Moleskin, I believe is how you pronounce that. In here is essentially a roadmap of all things business, my ideas for videos, things that I've been working on. So if you were to flip through here, you're going to see a lot of my notes, a lot of things that I was working on, and just sometimes even ideas that I jot down. I think it's really important to have something like this with you every day because I know for me, especially owning a business, it yeah, I, have, I have thoughts flying through my head all day, every day. There's always so many things going on and it's always hard to remember some of the thoughts that I had throughout the day. So I take a couple minutes and I just write down some notes on things that I think are important. That helps me out a lot. And as I'm shooting these videos, I'm usually making notes and jotting things down. Admittedly, for this video, I have no notes and I have no framework because this is, again, a Freestyle Friday video. I'm just winging this and going through everything with you guys. Besides that, I always carry with me some kind of a reading material that I'm currently working on. So this one is Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. I'm not very far into that. Probably a 
third of the way in, this book's legit. Guys, for real, I've had so many aha moments as I've been reading this. So already without even finishing it, I definitely recommend this book. But there's times throughout the day where I just need to unplug my brain a little bit. And I find that if I take 10 minutes and just read a little bit, it helps me out tremendously. So then the other thing that I carry with me externally, and by external I mean either, either it's my backpack or maybe I'm just carrying it in my arm. If I'm going out to lunch or something, I might just carry the book and maybe carry my notebook and my iPad in my hands and have my backpack on my back. Um, but then I have my iPad, which is an iPad Air 2. I just got this sweet keyboard actually today and I forget the name of the company. I actually have the box. Anchor. A-N-K-E-R. I don't know if that's how you say the name. But anyway, this is legit. I've used this today to answer emails. I'm very excited about this because this is a super compact case for my iPad. This is way better than carrying a big laptop with me if all I'm doing is you know, answering emails or things like that, or just keeping up to date on analytics, all that good stuff. But this is the lifeblood of me working mobily. Believe it or not, I work off this iPad so much. So then, besides that, I also always carry a couple pens in different colors. Nothing fancy, but I carry a bunch of pens with me so that I can write my notes down and then you know keep track of things throughout the day. You never know when you might have an idea or a thought or something you want to jot down. Or maybe I'm reading my book and I just want to make a couple little notes or something. I find that's very important for me to do. So on my right side, I carry a knife and I carry this mostly for utility purposes. This is a Topps Knives Desert Sun knife. And this is a fixed blade as you can see. It's really beefy, it fits in my hand well. and. I don't really carry this for defensive reasons. I carry this for utility purposes, cutting up packaging, things of that nature. I guess you could use this for defensive reasons. It's not really my go-to defensive weapon, although again, it could be used for that. It does have a sharp blade and can poke things. So it's got that going for it. It's a very nice knife, very good quality. I have it in a little sheath on my right side. So then on my left side, I have a Streamlight, one of the Protac 2Ls. I have been carrying this light for a long, long time, and it is a sad little tired piece of kit, but it has served me extremely well, and it puts out enough lumens. I mean, it, it's definitely not the brightest flashlight on the market, but I feel like it does really well for what I'm needing it for, and most of the time it's just me navigating in the darkness. But I think it's important to have a flashlight of some sort on you because we all end up in the darkness sometimes. Even if it's just looking underneath my desk, I use flashlights every single day, multiple times a day. And then if we're coming up here onto my waistline, I carry a Glock 19, and I'll show this to you. Nothing fancy. Gen 4 Glock 19 with an Enforce APL light on it, as you can see. I've carried this Glock 19 now, I want to say for probably at least three years, maybe four years. And this is, or I should say has been the best firearm for me in that time period. And I have put a ton of rounds through this thing. It is an unimaginable amount of ammunition that has been fired through this. I've replaced the recoil spring. I have swapped barrels because my rounds actually started keyholing with this firearm. At about 10 yards, I'd have every once in a while a 9mm round with keyhole. Um, if I had to guess how much ammunition I actually have through this, I wouldn't even know where to start anymore. I do shoot a lot because of the work that I do with my company, and therefore I use it very heavy. And as you can see, it is Cerakoted. I did that myself. That is a dark multicam with some burnt bronze accenting. As far as sights, stock lock metal sights with the stock lock tritium front and I don't have any trigger other than the factory trigger it is factory mag release factory slide release my hands are fairly large so for me getting a purchase and dropping the slide forward after bat being locked back into battery no big deal for me I don't feel like I need anything extra on that so that's the firearm I carry a spare magazine in my holster and I'm actually going to show you guys the holster that I use this is from 
T-Rex Arms, it is their sidecar holster. And this is by far my favorite holster that I've used for appendix. And I'm not going to say that this is the holster for everybody, but for me, this holster has worked extremely, extremely well. I really like how it's canted. I like the design. I like where the clips are at. And I love the claw. If you guys haven't carried appendix, you probably have watched videos of people who have. But that claw is going to help push the gun and rotate it back up against your body, which is very important for printing. And as you can see, this is actually a brand new t-shirt, so it is fairly snug. It's a fitted shirt, but it doesn't really print with the Glock 19. And that is the key for me. Inevitably, someone is always going to say, well, there's no way that's comfortable sitting. And to be honest, appendix carrying is kind of like a little bit of a acquired taste, I should say but it can be comfortable and it is a very viable way to carry a firearm. Explore it. A lot of it has to do with your body type, your holster type, your gun that you're carrying. There's so many variables. So don't just pick one holster, try it and roll it out. If you have buddies with a bunch of different holsters, try them all out. But regardless, that's not the point of this video. I want to talk about my belt next. So I'm going to pop this holster out again, T-Rex Arms sidecar. Now for my belt, this is from Lunar Concepts and this belt is phenomenal and it is extremely stiff which is honestly key for a good gun belt. It should have a little bit of flex but not too much that your gun's all floppy. I mean that thing holds its form even free like that and it's a nylon essentially like a double nylon stitched belt with a velcro pull on it and then it has these quickie buckles which I really like. They're not as low profile as some other styles of buckle, but they are fairly slim and it just snaps together just like that. But very simple right there. You guys can see it. Very good solid belt. Well worth the money. As far as everything else on my body, that pretty much sums up any weapons or any defensive tools that I might have on me. Um, I do carry a watch with me every single day and this watch is a it's from a company called Benyar um, I got this honestly off of Amazon I think I paid about 30 bucks for the watch but I think it looks nice it's worn well it keeps time accurately so I can't complain about that then as far as my sunglasses these are from Shady Rays these are fantastic sunglasses I'm gonna put a link in the descriptions below for these sunglasses. Click that link, it's gonna take you right over to the website. I purchased these, I wanna say now, about a month ago at the time of making this video. I beat the crap out of everything I own and I haven't broken these yet. So again, that's Shady Rays. I don't know if you guys can see that, but they are polarized sunglasses and they are very high quality. Then as far as anywhere else, I always wear some sort of a hat and I tend to cycle through my hats. I'll wear a hat for a week or so or maybe two weeks off and on and then I'll switch out to a new hat or I'll change my hats up. As far as on body though that pretty much sums all of that up and then we go over to my backpack and in my backpack which if you guys didn't watch one of my actually my latest video it is on the Vertex EDC ready pack but in my backpack I have tons of gear. I carry my short barreled rifle which is my 300 blackout. I carry a suppressor, which is a Silencer Co. Omega suppressor. Screw that on so you guys can see. And that's the rifle that I always have on hand. It's a very slick little shooting gun. And guys, I did a video on this entire build here. So I'm going to put a little tag up in the corner. Check it out. Take a look at that video. And I do a complete breakdown and walkthrough on what I did on this rifle. So I'm not going to go into any more of that right now. Same thing with the bag. I'm not going to go over exactly what I carry or where I carry it because I just went over that in the last video. But to give you a brief rundown on this, I do keep things like office supplies up front. I have an extra phone charger, a battery pack, some other odds and ends that I use in the office. And I do keep some other gear up here with some medical. I keep a kernel blade knife in the top of my bag which I don't know if you guys can see that but these are fantastic knives as well another fixed blade if you can throw a punch 
you can use this knife. And again, I'm not a knife fighter, but I have this in my bag because it is a very intuitive design to just grab the knife and go to work. I have some medical kit on me always. I think it's important to carry medical kit with us and to have some basic training in first aid. And that's an area that I think I need to update because I've had basic first aid, I've had some other stuff that was a little more than basic, but it's been years since I've taken an update course. So I'm excited because I'm actually gonna be doing that at S12. I guess that's now next weekend. Wow. So I'm gonna get a refresher course and not even a refresher, but go into depth with this stuff and learn so much, I'm sure. But guys, that is my everyday carry loadout. I hope that that gave you some insight into who I am. If you liked what you saw or you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below and I will definitely respond to all of them. Or as always, if you check in the about me section on my YouTube channel, you can find my email there. Just drop me an email. Or if you want to get in touch with me directly, hit up my Instagram. That is a great place to message me. I'm always on there and responding to tons of messages. You can also message me over at TA Targets, guys. Remember, I am kind of the guru behind running that page. So if you message the TA Targets page, you're going to get a response from me. Thank you guys for tuning in. If you liked what you saw, consider hitting that subscribe button and showing me some support. And again, guys, until next time, stay well, stay safe, and I will see you again soon.